this is yeah. going to be very realistic. We're in between cases. <laughs> They're going to call us at some point. We're going to dash out of this place. For the MIS fellowship, you rotate specifically at Stanford Hospital, um, and that's where you do a majority of your cases. All of your cases are with the MIS attendings, and there's five faculty members. I'd say the majority of cases are either bariatric cases or uh, advanced foregut cases, as well as some abdominal wall cases. I would say that probably about 80% is laparoscopic cases. I would say less than 5% is open. Um, and at least what the fellow will be doing. And then probably at this point, about 15% robotic. Definitely primarily cl clinical, but yeah. we, we try to really have um, at least one or two um, research projects for uh, the fellow to, to, to work on. Yeah, I think that there's certainly no limit in regards to research opportunities. You want is working with three different attendings on three different projects. So it's it's about trying to dip my toes into some things. We have a fellows course that's once a month, except for two of the months of the year. It's just a Zoom gathering of all the fellows. It includes, you know, the fellows that I share an office with, which is like the HPV, Sir John, and the human care fellows, as well as the endocrine fellows, the breast fellows, um, the transplant fellows. They all have invitations. The transplant fellows don't get on as much because, well, they're probably busier than we are, but um, it's once a month. It, it highlights um, different like sort of real world things that fellows need to know. Like we're going to have a class on like the finances of just like being an attending, you know, looking at a contract, things like that. Um, we had somebody come in and talk about like, you know, life insurance, you know, so things that like you need to know in the real world. I actually think I had a unique situation where I got to sort of experience Stanford outside of Stanford. Um, you know, I had the opportunity to meet the people before I met the place. And I think that that was a huge reason, at least why personally I ranked it for myself, number one, all of the faculty and staff, but especially Dr. Azaguri and Dr. Zach. And I mean, I could basically list all of them have made, been very intentional about making sure that, you know, this is one uh, like safe and, you know, welcoming environment that I can be unapologetically myself. People are very just like welcoming and just like nice, you know? Weird California thing. You know, obviously we want your laparoscopic skills and your OR skills to be as good as they can be. But I think a lot of the learning that you can get from fellowship is how to evaluate patients uh, in clinic, how to make your own decisions in terms of would this patient benefit from a surgery or not? It would be great to do a ton of super easy sleeves or super straightforward bypasses. But what I think is really sort of expands your knowledge and like reassures you that you have the fundamentals down is that you're seeing the complex cases, um, the complex anatomy, the, you know, complex sort of mental exercises that you have to go through with some of the patients that we get to see here. And I think that that really adds to the educational benefit of our fellowship here. I think coming out of this fellowship, I think you are a multifaceted MIS surgeon. You're a strong bariatric surgeon. You're a strong poor gut surgeon. At the end of the day, a hospital is truly a hospital. Most hospitals are accredited to do the medicine and take care of the patients that we do. And so I think that what makes programs stand out and to be unique are the people you get to engage with, um, the cases that you're doing. Okay, I, I got a couple of texts, Dr. Azaguri, so I'm gonna yeah. go into the room okay. if you yes. wanna walk up. I will join you right now.